go to YouTube and uh, t type in uh, Ubuntu uh, download. Okay, and you can click on this guy right here. It takes you to this. Site. Now you have two of them. This gives nine month ser services, and this gives you uh, a lifetime up to um, actually a full service up to uh, April 2017. Uh, there's two versions here: 64 bit and the 32 bit. Okay, which uh, is for less than two gigs of RAM. All right, 64-bit. Uh, you got to make sure that your laptop desktop is a 64-bit computer. I'm going to do the 60, uh, the 32-bit. All right, and I'm going to click on this. Now this takes you to the next uh, site that says, "Do you want to donate?" Okay, and you can click right here, no thanks, uh, and just download. Now it's going to take you to the next page, uh, which automatically starts the download, which I have down here on the bottom. All right. This is an ISO file, which you're going to actually bring up to burn to a CD. You're going to need uh, some kind of software to burn ISO software to a DVD. All right. And uh, I I use um, Power to Go uh, by Cyber Cyber DVD. All right. It was kind of cheap, anyways. And there's other uh, utilities out there software. So this actually has uh, seven minutes left to download. It does take a while. All right. Um, so once I burn this, I'll bring you over to the computer and, uh, and install. I also uh, am doing this uh, because there are older computers that are over 12 years old that have Windows XP on it, and uh, and may, they may want to have Ubuntu put on it. But it's always good to get the latest download because it has all the updates already on it as per when uh, this was actually made. So um, I'll bring you back when I'm on the computer getting ready to install. Well, in my computer business, I'm being asked uh, what's the alternative to Windows since Windows is now threatening again to discontinue its support for Windows XP. So, uh, uh, what I'm uh, going to show you is how to install Ubuntu. This is the 16 bit version. I've already done the uh, um, 64 bit uh, version. I didn't care for it very much because very limited what uh, other uh, apps you can install on that. So, I'm going to put this version on this uh, laptop. This is my um, this is a, an HP um, G60. Uh, I have two uh, things to put hard drives in, so I'm going to take this one out. This is my Windows uh, 7. I have a little 7 down in the corner there. Uh, that's my Windows 7 hard drive. I'm going to take this guy, which is a raw hard drive, and put it in. Make sure it goes in the right way. It only goes in one way. Now you could do this on any laptop. If I put the camera back on uh, thing while I'm working, uh, look through the camera while I'm working, <laughs> that would be even better. Pop that in there, put, uh, put your three screws in. I want to put the cover back on and uh, start the install. All right, uh, you need to have your laptop or your computer booting up to read the CD first. Or hit F12, whatever it is, to have the boot up sequence read the CD. All right, and have it uh, tied into your network too. Uh, this is wireless, and I know it's going to hook up. When I do that, so uh, give that a shot, okay? And uh, I'll bring you back during the install and step, you know, each step of the way. I made the DVD, and it has to be put on a DVD because uh, uh, the size of the file I'm downloading. Uh, so um, I'll make that note in the very beginning. And uh, when it boots up, uh, the window you see on the right is the window behind me. It just has some light on this, so I'm trying to. Make sure you see uh, the background changed. Uh, it's like a purplish color. All right, my wireless is uh, orange. I'm saying there's no wireless right now. Yeah, wireless is available, but we're not logged in yet. But wait until you see the colors it makes when it comes time. There's the Ubuntu, Ubuntu logo in the middle. All right, you hear the CD or DVD uh, making some noise in this. If uh, you load this on an older computer, you, you need to put a DVD drive on there so it actually reads it. So hopefully you have one around. Uh, the business that I'm in, I have bunches of them. All right. So I am going to pause this right now, bring you back when something changes. Well, something did change. Uh, my wireless turned blue. Okay. So um, don't know why. Maybe the driver is loaded for the wireless. Who knows? I still have that going on. Uh, it just went away. 
They have a mouse with a very, really cool background, orange and uh, white in the center. That is quite different. Okay, uh, we have the taskbar up on top. It's a nice bright one. That's different from uh, their original, their last year's version. We have a big space on that side. Um, should come up in there saying wireless is available. It should be a picture up there. That's what happened last time. And that went away. Got a noise. I don't know what kind of noise that was. And we have the uh, Try Ubuntu, which you can actually click on to try it out. I already know what it looks like, so I'm going to hit Install. Okay, so uh, right now, uh, just plugged in. Um, we have uh, at least 4.5 gigabytes of space. So that's an important uh, feature on an older hard drive uh, that might have megabytes of space. So you need at least that. So if you have a 20 uh, gigabyte hard drive on an older computer, it's going to work just fine. And believe it or not, uh, they're still out there. So I'm going to go up to the top here. I'm going to click on uh, um, my one of my wireless things. I have uh, a few of them. And I'm going to type in my code. Oh, this is my, uh, yeah, this is the Wi-Fi code. So I'm going to turn on the locks and type it in. And hit connect. Okay, what should happen is that go that should go away. See, connection established, and we got a green here. I want to download the updates. Okay, while installing, and I'm going to hit continue. I did not check third-party software, and I don't want to encrypt anything. Okay, I want to completely erase. and install new okay so um, you can do uh, something else if you want to do alongside another one do that if you want to do alongside um, put uh, 1204 next to a different version alright so um, I'm going to hit continue and this tells you what is being installed how much hard drive space okay two petitions will be deleted all right, and install now on the bottom. And that's the status down on the bottom of the, uh, of the um, installation. It's deleting everything, and it goes pretty quick. It's fast to, to do that. So select your time zone. That's mine. Hit continue. Uh, and it should come up the keyboard layout. I do just a uh, generic for my laptop. Hit continue. And then uh, what's my name? And I'm going to put down Bill. I'm trying to look at this while I am talking to you, and I don't have really enough light to see. All right, I'm going to hit tab, 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 password. I want to move the camera aside a little bit. I don't care if you see my password, but um, I don't want to mess it up. I'm going to keep it very simple. And it comes up weak, which I don't care about. Tab, and you got to match it. And I can't emphasize the importance of remembering this password. I have a green check there saying it's the same as the weak password. I want to log on automatically, and once again, I don't want to encrypt anything. So I'm going to hit continue. You have to remember that password. There's no way of saving it. Uh, I don't want to take my picture with the camera in my face, so I'll select the baseball. Continue. Okay, so uh, it's going to give you a bunch of um, uh, facts and everything and uh, as it goes through the install. Your password is going to be needed every time you want to install updates, install software, make any kind of changes to your computer is going to prompt you for your authentic password. If you forget that password, I don't know of any utility that can recover the password from Ubuntu. Uh, so it is just so important. Otherwise you're going to end up reinstalling. Another thing I want to make you note, know, you need to install some kind of cloud to, uh, to save documents and so on to the cloud. Or 
constantly uh, save to an external drive or a memory stick. Uh, once again, I at 30 years doing this, I've never played around with Ubuntu before, but people have brought it to me and I tried recovering data. Couldn't do it. So, so um, that's just important for you to know that while you're doing your documents, your pictures and so on, save them on something external so you don't you lose it when the system crashes. I don't care if you have an Apple or something, hardware, software, something's going to happen. All right. So, uh, so ju just uh, emphasizing that. I'll bring you back when something uh, changes on this, when it's done and all, but uh, as you see, it's changing pictures just like Windows does too and tells you about different things and there's a lot of text to read on that side. So, uh, and you can hit the arrow left or right, right there to see the next uh, thing that's coming up. Or if you want to, hey, I didn't see all that, you want to back up and, and take a look at that. It comes up after it's all done with the install to restart now. It should come up to um, eject the CD, DVD, and have you hit enter. That's what the, the older um, version did on that stall. So let's see what happens here. Okay, by the way, the, uh, the wireless turns all different colors during uh, updates. I'll show you that here pretty soon. Okay, CD popped out. Okay, and it says press enter. That does look quite different though. It used to be a black screen. It had a bunch of text on it. So I'm going to hit enter and put the CD aside. And then it should come uh, should come back up. Uh, we're at the desktop. Uh, same menu on the left hand side. And my screen did, is flashing. So it's telling me that the uh, graphic drivers are not um, installed. So um, Hopefully it's going to come up over here. I want to show you on top. I'm up on the upper right hand side where the star is. If I click that, it's going to have software updates. Okay, uh, software up to date and uh, system applications. If we uh, come over to myself, there's my baseball that I selected. Alright, and um, calendar. I'm waiting for a little thing to pop up over here saying uh, a driver needs to be installed. There's sound and uh, wireless. Wow, that is almost annoying. Uh, my battery is charged. There's my email and messaging and, and uh, stuff. Uh, set, up, set up emails on the bottom there and there it is. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Uh, this guy, okay, um, that little... I'm going to click on that. This is a... Uh, wow. Okay. If I can do that. One, two. Okay, I'm going to click on that guy. Install drivers. Okay, it should come up with a screen. Uh, yeah, trusted, tested by a developer and all that. And uh, I want to activate. Gonna, this is where it asks you for your password now. All right, so you need to make sure you type it in right. You get three strikes on it before you have to do it again. And now it's downloading the, the driver. And um, up here, it uh, it should say it has to be uh, restarted. No problems, driver to be used on this system. Uh, okay, that's uh, that's saying that um, on this system there's never been a problem reported. All right, tested uh, tested by Ubuntu team. Okay, license is good. All right. Uh, so and there's uh, four more. I think there's another one tucked down inside there to choose from if this one doesn't work. Right, it uh, required a restart and uh, no more flashing. There's my mouse in the middle. I want to come over to the right here where that star is and pull that down. And I want to do, uh, it says updates available, so I'm going to click on that. What's going to come up is uh, populating the updates. Okay, and there they are. So uh, install updates, and once again, it requires your password. That's the importance of remembering your password. <laughs> so write it down somewhere if you want. You can hit details there and they'll show you what you're downloading. Uh, but the important thing is uh, you need to install them. There are 43 as it says right there. 
Okay, so make sure you do all your updates and then uh, and restart. Uh, go ahead and restart the system. Basically, there's no restart. You have to, unless you're prompted to restart, uh, you have to shut down, then hit the power button to bring it back up. But there's the cool colors of the wireless. That never happened with uh, Windows installed. So that's, um, you know, I think there there's um, four or five different colors coming out of that wireless thing down there. <laughs> Pretty cool. Alright, so uh, just go ahead and let the updates happen. If you have a, a problem with them, uh, just try them again, okay? After the updates have installed, go ahead and click Restart Now. And what we'll do is restart. Alright, rebooted and all updates have been performed. If you want to go up on top, click and your uh, system's up to date. It's right there. Uh, no other files are uh, noted that has to be installed and we're ready to start using it. So hopefully you enjoyed the video uh, installing uh, Ubuntu on um, a 386 system. It's a 16-bit system, okay? 64-bit uh, uh, will come soon. Uh, I want to get all the videos done with this one first and then uh, put a, pop another hard drive in and install the 64-bit version. Alright, subscribe if you want and see a lot more coming up. Bye.